Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Leo and Virgo only channel, my main channel, Tarot of Light, which I do plan on going live on there more often and doing all 12 signs. And then I've got uh, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, and that channel is for dating advice and spiritual advice, okay? They're all listed below if you would like to check them out. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. And when the winners are announced, on the first of every month, I uh, do a giveaway of two five-question emergency readings. Um, just hashtag reading in the comment section below to enter the win. If you're looking to um, open your own tarot channel or start a um, or learn how to read tarot, you can uh, check out my tarot tutorial. The link is below. It's about two and a half hours long. The information to book a reading with me is below. And if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, I do have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle. Buy one, get one free. And then I have, um, and then I have royal rose tarot which is currently 20 percent off okay what are we grateful for today my loves i'm grateful for my cancer babies my youtube family i'm grateful for my puppies are safe happy healthy and doing well i'm grateful for my health wealth peace prosperity and abundance so guys i gotta take a minute out and tell you what i did last night <laughs> So I have to take a muscle relaxer to sleep at night for my TMJ to relax the muscles in my face. Five milligrams, nothing crazy so that I don't clench, clench my jaw in my sleep. So I took the pill and I must have forgotten that I took the pill and I must have taken another pill. And now your girl is higher than a kite. Yes, that is what we're doing today. We're going to be doing this reading. That's why I look so tired. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. My head is whoo hoo, okay? So we're gonna get through this. We're gonna do it as a team, okay? But we're gonna do this. I can't believe I did that. I'm, I woke up this morning feeling some type of way and I was like, oh my gosh, I must have taken two of my pills last night. I was like, oh my Lanta. All right, I mean, it's only 10 milligrams. It's no big deal, but it's like, I'm not used to it. You know, I don't take medication like that anymore. So, oh my Lanta, we are on Mars right now, okay? Let's see what we have here for my, oh, let's pull your 30, your, I was going to say your 30 day Oracle card, your self care Oracle card. <laughs> let's pull, let's pull your self care Oracle card. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got receive. You're being asked to be open to receiving universal gifts. These could be in the form of love, money, and compliments, healing energy, and universal wisdom. Know that you're worthy of these gifts and open up to them, okay? So Cancer, it's time for you to learn how to receive instead of giving all the time, okay? Someone compliments you, say thank you, and own it. If money is coming towards you or love is coming towards you, receive it and be grateful for it instead of looking for something bad in everything, you know? Like if someone gives you a compliment, don't say, yeah, well, thank you, but you know I'm having the worst hair day, you know? Don't follow it up with something negative all the time okay all right so let's see what we have here spirit tell me about cancer please tell me about my cancer <coughs> freya no ma'am we don't do that when mommy's working no she's looking at me like but the squirrel <laughs> she's like there was a squirrel lady you gotta understand tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer please okay all right, observant, loyalty, and secret love. Okay, so Cancer, your person is claiming to be loyal. They're claiming to respect you. They're claiming to be trustworthy. They're claiming to always be faithful. They're claiming to protect your feelings above all others. But what your person is about to find out is that you cannot lie to a Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio, okay? <laughs> you know, you can't lie to a water sign. You just can't. With observant here, they're realizing here that you are very sharp and that nothing gets past you. If there's the most minimum shift in energy, you will notice it. 
okay? With secret love here, Cancer, I do feel like this person could possibly be uh, crushing on a th third party, entertaining a third party. Um, now, Cancer, this could also be a vibe of your person has cheated on you before and you forgave this person, reconciled with this person, but now they feel like you're watching them like a hawk, okay? So we do have forgiveness. Yeah, see, forgiveness and third party here. I feel like cancer, this could be one of two things that they are messing with the third party and you're not stupid. Okay. Or cancer that this person has hurt you for third party energies before in the past. And they feel that even though you have forgiven them, that you're watching them like a hawk. Mm -hmm. I see you. I see what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? They feel like they feel like, you know, you're they they can't breathe because you're just all up on them. Let's see here. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune and Temperance in the reverse. The world card and the queen of swords with the devil and the five of pentacles and the ten of wands. Cancer, I think that your person has an ex that they still communicate with. And I feel that even though they were fortunate enough to get you back, with temperance in the reverse, there's no peace here because you're not at peace you can sense something isn't right with the world card and the queen of swords what's happening is both the things that i said on uh the oracle cards are true but this is what's happening your person is in fact communicating with someone from their past but when you question them about it they like to throw it in your face that even though you guys have reconciled and you've forgiven them that you don't trust them you don't trust me you don't trust me you don't trust me no the fuck i don't i'm happy that you realize that <laughs> you know what i'm saying with the devil the five of pentacles and the ten of wands cancer i feel that you have this overwhelming feeling to leave to abandon this because with the devil card you can sense this there's something toxic you can feel the ex's energy on your person you're just overwhelmed with wanting to run. You're stuck in flight mode. You want to run away from this because you can sense the deception here. You can sense it. All right, let's see here. Tell me about the six of cups here for cancer and the 10 of pentacles with the ace of wands. So cancer, this person got you back. They see you as the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. They want to make it work, okay? They want to make it work. That's great. But with the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, you don't have all this person's attention. Something is off. Something happened here where this person started communicating with an ex while they have reconciled with you. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the three of swords in the reverse. This person sees it as a blessing that you have forgiven their past trespasses. But the problem is with temperance in the reverse, there's forgiveness and reconciliation here, but there is no peace. There is no peace here because with the two of wands and the nine of cups and the high priestess, your person is still in community. Like your person is still worrying about their wish fulfillment. Your person is only worried about their wants and needs and what they want to do is they want to be with you and be in communication with someone from their past with the two of wands and the high priestess they're making a decision to just keep this secret from you because if you were to know about this you would not um you would not accept this especially after how they cheated in the past so they're thinking, you know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm going to go ahead and just not tell cancer I'm doing this. Cancer will feel fine. You know, everything's going to be okay. No, the fuck it ain't because you're a human lie detector. Okay. You can sense something in this person's energy that just is not right. Cancer. Okay. Tell me about the world card here for cancer and the ace of swords. 
the Queen of Swords here and the Tower. Cancer, this person is trying to convince you that they're not the same person that they used to be, that they're not cheating on you, that everything is fine. But with the Queen of Swords and the Tower, you're not having it. You're not having it. You're about to blow that, burn this house down. You're about to burn this shit down. You don't, you don't want it. You can sense that something is off. You can sense that something is off. You may not have the proof about this yet, but you're not wrong. You are not wrong, okay? Your person got both third-party cards in the entire deck, okay? Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. So we've got divine feminine, we've got dominant, and we've got abusive. So cancer, you're sitting in empress energy. You're coming up as the empress here and the divine feminine here. Okay. And what this person thinks that they're going to do is control and dominate an empress and be abusive and be uncaring, selfish, cruel. This person thinks that they can treat you like an idiot. I mean, I hate to put it that way and I'm sorry that I have to put it that way, but that's what it is. They have a strong personality. They are not flexible. This is like a my way or the highway type of person. And they don't know that you are the highway. I'll take the, I'll choose, you will forever choose the highway. Whether you're broke, you don't got gas, whether you're walking on the highway, you got a bicycle with a little bell, ding, ding, ding. You know what I'm saying? You will always choose the highway. You're fine with choosing the highway. You're okay with it. You know, they are going to try to abuse a divine feminine energy. I will break you down mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. What this person is trying to do is flip the script on you. You can sense that something's wrong and this person knows that they're doing wrong, but what they're going to do is tell you, Oh, you don't trust me. You say you forgive me, but you don't really forgive me. Mm. 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 All right. Let's see here. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got the King of Wands and we've got the Emperor. Uh, Tell me about cancer, please. We've got the five of swords and we've got the judgment card. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got the six of wands and the seven of cups. So what you have here, cancer, is somebody that will create such a scene that ultimately they win the argument. Like for instance, you go to your person, you tell them, listen, I feel like something isn't right. I'm just feeling like something isn't right. This person will create such a scene. So they will take your words, twist them, turn them. I mean, flip it, twist it, reverse it. You will, oh my gosh. Like, you know, you said one little thing and this person has contorted it, twist it, whatever, to where somehow now you're the problem. Okay. This person is not going to stop until you agree with them and you say, yes, you're right. You're not doing anything wrong, but that's not the case. The problem here is cancer is this is someone you're sitting in divine feminine energy and they want to be the divine masculine energy, but they're not, they're sitting in king of wands energy. This is someone that is, sits in ego. This is someone that feels that, you know, I'm going to play mind games and you're going to agree with me being about the fuckery. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is someone who wants someone, you know, dumb, deaf, and blind. Like, I know you know that I'm talking to someone else, but I need you to not tell me about it. Don't call me out on my bullshit. I need you to control seven of wands. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear what you have to say. The magician and the hanged man and the moon. Cancer, this person wants you to keep your feelings to yourself. They want you to just take that shit, shove it down deep, and just keep manifesting with them. They want you to play dumb, deaf, and blind. That is what they want from you. And if you don't do that, this person will come into a very, very... This person will get abusive. 
Tell me about the King of Wands and the Eight of Swords. This is someone that will, even though Cancer, you're sitting in Eight of Swords energy where you know something isn't right on a spiritual level, on an intuitive level, you know something isn't right. They, they still sit in a deny, deny, deny energy. Like unless you can prove something, uh, then don't bring this shit to me. You know, tell me about the emperor, please. And the knight of swords. So this is someone that wants to play emperor energy. They want to play the role of the divine masculine, but they want to be in and out with their energy that this person will attack. They will attack. Tell me about the five of swords and the ace of pentacles. Tell me about the judgment card and the knight of wands. So cancer, this is somebody that you guys fight really bad. And then with the ace of pentacles, they'll come in with a gift or an apology and this big offer or whatever. They'll, they'll play kissy face with you. They'll make up with you. But with the knight of wands and the judgment card, this is somebody that they reconcile with you, but they're still sitting in Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands mode. Fast moving energy, in and out energy, player energy. With the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Cancer, let me just make it simple for you, okay? What this person wants is you sitting at home, pregnant and barefoot in the kitchen, whatever you want to call it. They want you quiet. They want you submissive. They want you to not call them out on their shit. And they want to do whatever they want to do. Yep. Seven of Cups here. And the Ten of Swords. This person is crazy. You're dealing with someone who is mentally challenged. Okay? <laughs> That's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with someone who isn't. I feel like you're looking at this person with your jaw hanging on the floor. Like, dude, are you kidding me? They, they get very abusive. Then they'll come in and love bomb you and tell you what you want to hear. Tell you that they love you. Buy you something expensive. And then they'll go right back to being what they're being. Okay. Page of cups, the nine of swords and the lover's card. I feel like cancer, you might be talking to a friend that you're stressed out. You know, someone else is in the picture, you know, with the three of cups here. And I feel like this friend cancer may be telling you, listen, six of swords, you really got to get away from this. You could find so much better than this person. You have to find the courage to see a future without this person. And Cancer, I have to be honest, I feel like whoever is telling you this is right because we got the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles here, strong Taurus energy. There, as soon as you cut this out and with the Nine of Pentacles, you're single and you're serious and you mean it, I do see something more stable coming in for you. But this is a very beautiful, a, a very abusive, not beautiful, this is a very abusive connection. Will you be strong enough to get out of this? Will you be strong enough to get out of this is the question, okay? We're going to take it into the extended. Let's see if you are going to be able to get away from this person that's doing this to you. We'll get a time frame as to when that might be. And then we'll take a look at this new person coming into your life and get a time frame as to when that new person is coming in for you, okay? All right, my loves, the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much and I will see you there. Take care, my darlings.